Rishi Sunak appeared at the London Tech Week conference on Monday, keen to focus on AI. But half a week is a long time in politics, and questions about Boris Johnson inevitably came the Prime Minister's way. He could have dismissed them, but instead had this to say. Boris Johnson asked me to do something that I wasn't prepared to do because I didn't think it was right. Uh, that was to uh, you know, either overrule the HOLAC committee or to make promises with people. Now, I, I wasn't prepared to do that. As I said, I didn't think it was right. And if people don't like that, then tough. In the UK, every outgoing prime minister may ask the monarch to give peerages and other honours to any number of people, which is then vetted by the House of Lords Appointments Commission, or HOLAC. Their recommendations are then put to the sitting Prime Minister, who approves or rejects their predecessor's submissions. At 3.50 on Friday afternoon, whilst anticipation was building for the release of Boris Johnson's list, the former Prime Minister's long-standing supporter Nadine Dorries resigned as MP with immediate effect. One hour and 20 minutes later, Johnson's honours list of 44 allies was published. A knighthood for Jacob Rees-Mogg, a damehood for Priti Patel, but eight names were missing including Dorries. Holak had made it clear that sitting MPs could not be approved and Rishi Sunak refused to overrule Holak's decision. Just a few hours after his colleague's departure, Boris Johnson announced that he too was resigning as MP with immediate effect over complaints about the Commons Partygate inquiry. Nigel Adams, also left off the honours list, resigned on Saturday. And so, in the space of 22 hours, Rishi Sunak finds himself facing three by-elections just two months after the Conservatives lost over a thousand council seats in England's local elections. I think we've got very strong candidates in place. We've got a strong candidate in Selby. We'll have candidates shortly in Mid-Bedfordshire and Uxbridge. So yes, I'll be out there campaigning and I think that the government has a good story to tell. So I hope that we will uh, secure the confidence of people. Um, but obviously we need to work hard. Well, there's clearly been some speculation that there might be more Conservative MPs behaving in this self-indulgent way and leaving Parliament. But I think people want to see a chance to move on. To be honest, I think the public want a general election as soon as possible. I think they want to be given the decision as to whether there'll be a, a fifth term of this Conservative party in, in office or whether there'll be the change that they need. So I think the public are itching for a vote any which way they get it. As for the Partygate inquiry, the Privileges Committee is likely to conclude this week that Johnson did mislead Parliament about Covid rule-breaking parties in Downing Street. He may be out of Parliament, but it's possible he may stand for election again. As he said in his resignation statement, he is very sad to be leaving Parliament, at least for now.